Hi everybody, happy 4th of July. I'm Christine Pollock with the Vino Crew. I thought I'd take a couple minutes today to talk a little wine and American history, which are two of my favorite things. So um, today we're gonna talk a little about Thomas Jefferson. So not only was he a founding father of our country, uh, but it, he is widely considered uh, the founding father of the American wine industry. So uh, before he became our third president, he was an ambassador to France, um, and that's where he cultivated his love of European wine and uh, more in-depth learning of the wine industry and uh, grape growing and wine producing. And he had been a farmer and grew other crops on his um, property in in Central Virginia but when he returned to the United States he really took the bull by the horns and got more serious about it um, so while his attempts at grape growing and wine producing in Central Virginia back in the uh, late 18, uh, 18 in late 1700s, early 1800s didn't really yield uh, great wines. Um, it actually did lay the groundwork for our American wine industry. So he had a vision that America could produce wine that would rival uh, European wines. And certainly 200 years later, that is a fact. And you can uh, look towards not only the great wines that we have um, here in the Commonwealth of Virginia, but also in California and Oregon and Washington and, and every single state in the union produces some sort of um, wine product. So. Today. So today I wanted to highlight uh, one of the great producers in Virginia. We're very spoiled uh, in the Commonwealth of Virginia that we have over uh, 275 wineries um, producing many different varietals. Um, so today I just wanted to um, give a shout out to Barbersville Vineyards, uh, which has a direct tie to Thomas Jefferson. So. James Barber was a um, governor of Virginia in the early 1800s and a friend and a neighbor of Thomas Jefferson. And Jefferson actually designed his home on the estate, so uh, which is featured right here on the label. So the house has uh, had burned down, but the ruins remain. And if you go to the Barber's River, vineyards you can see uh, the ruins there and obviously it's uh, very uh, prominent uh, on the labels too so um, I've got a, a 2017 um, Cab Franc here um, this varietal is um, is produced in Virginia at many different uh, wineries it's a great a great one um, to have with a steak on a grill. Um, perfect for the 4th of July weekend um, with your grilling meat, grilled meats. Um, and I'm excited to uh, take a trip down there uh, later in the summer um, and do some tasting. Um, so cheers to everybody. I uh, hope you have a happy and safe uh, 4th of July and um, enjoy some great American wine this weekend.